If you know that your water source has quite a high level of um, bacteria in it, it's a really a nice solution if you can get rid of it before you get to um, most of your filtration systems. Now the easiest way to do that typically is chlorine dosing. It doesn't always work and we'll go through that, through that in a minute. But what we normally recommend is an inline chlorinator such as this. Basically, what chlorine does is it oxidizes uh, the bacteria and thus killing the bacteria and works for viruses and a few other things too. Another very nice application for chlorine is if you have a very high iron content, the chlorine will actually rust the, the iron and making, making it very easy to remove without having to go to an uh, uh, expensive and very fine process such as reverse osmosis. For chlorine dosing in terms of bacteria, there are two very important things to check and unfortunately you would have to have a water analysis to, um, to check these. The first thing is, have you got nitrates in, in the water? For every 1 ppm of nitrate in the water, it, the chlorine will bond one part chlorine to that nitrate. So if you have, say, 5 nitrates in the water and you want 1 ppm of chlorine, you'll have to dose 6 ppm of, of chlorine to be able to get that 1 ppm of free chlorine, which unfortunately would probably make chlorine dosing not really effective simply because it becomes too expensive because you're going to go through the chlorine cartridges really, really, really quickly. Okay, then the other thing which is a problem is pH. It's, uh, chlorine only really works in a fairly neutral water. If your pH goes too low, it gets dramatically less effective. If it goes too high, it it's the exact same problem. So if you're within the range for chlorine, it is a very nice option. And um, it's really a very simple setup. You literally, in the line to the tank, fit this chlorine doser, which comes with a few different options for connections. You fit the cartridge in, and you simply turn this in for the higher chlorine dosing, turn it out for a lower level of chlorine dosing. What you ideally want to do is have it for a Jojo tank because you do need a bit of contact time for chlorine. A good indication is um, you need to have at least a day's water supply sitting in the tank. Uh, so if you're using about a thousand liters a day, have an extra day's supply in the tank. So rather put something like a two and a half thousand liter Jojo tank in place. And then very importantly, where you would measure the chlorine is say you want three parts of chlorine in the water measure it after the tank to make sure that you're dosing sufficiently um, and that in the supply leaving the tank you still have chlorine pre uh, present. Um, and yeah, that's basically how you would set it up. Very important though is we use specific chlorine for water treatment and don't just use um, pool chlorine. Um, some of the pool products contain all sorts of other additives which is very nice for your pool but not so nice for getting in your drinking water. So if you want to do chlorine dosing, there are other options on the market as well, but make sure you use something that is designed for water treatment and not something that is just designed for a swimming pool.